Ever wondered what happens when a brake circuit fails while you're cruising down the highway? Picture this, your brake system suddenly loses pressure in one of its circuits, but everything still works. Why? Because of the four circuit protection valve. Now, let's break this down. The four circuit protection valve is a real unsung hero in your pneumatic brake system. It keeps things running smoothly by controlling the air flow to the brake circuits, and even protects them when something goes wrong. See description for playlist on pneumatic brakes. How does the four circuit protection valve work? Here's the deal. Air enters the four circuit protection valve from the compressor. But before it gets to the valve, it's already been through a quick cooling loop and an air dryer to make sure it's clean and dry. Think of it like prepping for a race. Clean air means smooth operation. See the link in the description to learn more about cooling loop and an air dryer. Now, when that air hits the four circuit protection valve, it's not just a simple push of air. No, this air acts on a diaphragm valve that compresses a spring. This is where the magic happens. As the pressure builds, it lifts the diaphragm off the seat, and boom, air flows into the service tanks, aka front and rear brake tanks. But wait, we're not done yet. As pressure continues to rise, this also opens check valves, sending air to fill up the park and auxiliary circuits. That means every circuit, whether it's your regular brakes or emergency brakes, gets filled with air, making sure you're always ready to stop safely. So, how does this valve save the day when one circuit fails? Let's say there's a leak in the front brake circuit. As the air pressure drops in that circuit, it can't keep the diaphragm valve open. The valve closes, cutting off airflow to the failed circuit, and the check valve also shuts, preventing air from escaping through the damaged circuit. The rest of your brake circuits still working. This way, the other circuits stay live and functional, preventing a full brake failure. It's like having a fail-safe, keeping the air brake system safe and secure, even when disaster strikes in one of the circuits. No panic, no chaos, just pure protection. So, how does the four-circuit protection valve prevent air from one circuit leaking into another? The answer, back pressure. In a typical system, each circuit relies on a specific amount of pressure to stay open. If one circuit loses pressure, the diaphragm valve in that circuit closes, which not only stops air from leaking out but keeps pressure from messing with the other circuits. That's the beauty of this little valve. Why is the four-circuit protection valve important? Without it, a failure in one circuit could lead to the failure of the entire brake system. It prevents cross-leakage and ensures that even if one circuit fails, the others remain operational. Where is the four-circuit protection valve located? Typically, it's mounted near the air brake compressor, as part of the pneumatic system that feeds into the air tanks and distributes pressure. Can I drive with a faulty four-circuit protection valve? It's not recommended. If the valve fails, it can lead to uneven pressure distribution and a potential loss of braking ability. It's essential for safety. What makes the four-circuit protection valve so special? It's like the superhero of your brake system, always there, always ready, but rarely getting the attention it deserves. The four-circuit protection valve makes sure that no matter what happens to one circuit, your vehicle can still brake effectively and safely. It's protection, it's innovation, and it's exactly what your pneumatic brake system needs to stay in action.